it's going to be Jordan Battle instead of Christian Harris. Christian ended up with a class conflict today. So uh, it'll be Slade and then Jordan. So with that, use the raise your hand function, and we'll get to some questions on Slade. Start with Charlie Potter. Hey, Slade. I uh, just want to ask how you've seen the wide receiver group kind of progress from practice one to now going into practice 13. Uh, from start of uh, spring practice, you know, it's always tough starting to get the uh, concept of the offense down. But I think everybody in the freshman group has done a good job of uh, understanding what it takes to learn the concept and to, you know, they're also putting in the effort and working hard to, you know, improve themselves. And I think they've uh, definitely improved themselves since the beginning of spring. We'll go to Michael Casagrande. Michael, go ahead. Yeah, when fans see you on 8A on Saturday, what, what are they going to notice about this offense? What are they going to take away, do you think, from from seeing the way this uh, this offense uh, plays opposed to last year's? I mean, you know, it's different different offensive coordinators, so there's going to be a little little nicks and uh, differences in between the offense, but it's uh, basically the same concept, and I think we're going to approach it the same way we did last year, and that's, you know, being successful off, offense, executing. And uh, I think as an offense, we're all really excited to uh, – Look forward and see how we will do in the spring game because you know it's our first like real, real game scenario other than you know scrimmages. But especially with fans, it's going to be different, and uh, so we're excited to see how we uh, how we do. We'll go back to Charlie. Yes, yeah, so like you mentioned the, the freshmen. Just you as an older guy in that room, how have you tried to help them along in what has been their first college practices? I think the biggest thing that I've uh, tried to help with them is just kind of relating to them when it came to because I've you know I've been in their shoes I understand how it is you know when you know I try to tell them not to get frustrated and that they're going to make mistakes they're going to mess up and that the biggest thing is just to continue to work and you know every day like if you if you don't know what you're doing you know just at least go fast you know and like I think at the end of the day if you continue to push in practice and you you go you go hard in practice that eventually you'll understand that when you have the play, when you know the play right, you'll already know that how to go fast with the play, you know, knowing the play, the right play. And, uh, you know, sometimes when you don't know what to do, like you don't think mentally that I should go hard right now. So that's kind of one thing that I've tried to help them with is just uh, understanding that it, you're going to make mistakes, it's going to happen, but the ultimate goal is just to play fast. Go to Tony Sakalas. Like kind of along those lines, what do you remember from your first A day, and how how can you kind of maybe pass that along that experience to some of the younger guys? Well, you know, my first A day was you know gonna be a little different from these guys uh, since I was on the other side of the ball playing safety, but at the end of the day, it's 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 the same thing. It, you know, the, it's a little easier because and when you, we practice so hard and we practice like a game like scenario that it makes the games a little easier. So I can tell them like just go out there. Play confident, play fast, and at the end of the day, you will get the results you want. We'll go back to Michael. Yes, Lee, do you have any thoughts on the new uh, the new elephant statue out in front of the stadium? I, I saw that. I, I saw a picture of it. And I, I I thought it was really cool. Um, uh, hopefully, no one you know tries to uh, mess with it and you know spray paint or climb on it or do something dumb like that. But um, uh, I thought it was really cool though. Okay, we'll go to Charlie Potter. Uh, this is a little off topic, but it's been one year since you guys uh, brought in Coach Ballou and Dr. Ray. Just what's it been like now that you have a year under your belt with them, working with them and, and learning from them from a strength and conditioning standpoint? The Dr. Ray and Coach Ballou and, you know, the rest of the uh, strength staff have just done a great job uh, preparing us for last season, you know, with the amount of time we had. And you could definitely see an improvement. And, our, uh, our speed and our uh, explosion and also our strength. And I think they've done a, a great job. And uh, I'm not, you know, I would never compare them to to Cochran, but, you know, it, there are different, different ways of approaching, uh, you know, working out. And I think they've, they've done a great job. And uh, I, I think they're only, they're only going to continue to do a great job in improving the way we play. And I'm, I'm excited to get another year or summer with them as well. A couple more here with Slade. We'll go to AP. Hey, hey, uh, Slade. Uh, can you tell me something unique about Bryce Hall? Hey, we're having trouble hearing you, AP. Can you move that mic a little oh. closer or something to speak into it? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, is that better? It's much better. So, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're fine. Uh, Slade, can you tell me something unique about the three quarterbacks, Bryce, 
Paul and Jalen? I think they all have their uh, their different uniqueness. Um, you know, the, the good, I think what they do compare and they both share is uh, their will to get better. And you know, they're continue they continue to work hard and they continue to try to learn the offense. Um, so I, I, I they do have different uniqueness. You know, different type of playing sets, player sets, and skills. But at the end of the day, they all try to achieve the ultimate goal, and that's becoming a better offense, a better quarterback, and all around better player. Okay, and we will finish uh, Slate up with Tony. Yes, yeah, Slate, you kind of mentioned it with the uh, strength and conditioning coordinators, but earlier this uh, spring, Nick Saban said that he wants more speed in the unit. When you hear that, I guess, what's your reaction to that? My reaction to that is it's, uh, it's, it's probably the same thing every year. I think we all need to get faster. Every, I think every, every player needs to improve on not just speed, but strength. And, uh, but at the end of the day, it's also mental. Um, you know, learning the plays and the concepts of the offense and for the defense. Uh, but every year, you know, you want to improve. You don't want you want to be faster than you were last year. You'll be stronger than the, the year you want the before. And you also want to, you know, come together just as good as you were before. And that's and I think that's a challenge that coach accepts every year. And I think that's why he's great at what he does and continues to coach. And uh, I, that's that's kind of the idea of what we want to do. And. I think that's just the basics of it, just trying to get faster and improving from where we, you know, you always want to get better than the year before. All right, Slade, thank you. Thank you all. You have a good day.